Hey guys, I hope this is working. I feel like I haven't actually fully live streamed in a long time. I don't even remember when the last time I live streamed was. I think I did it one time at my parents' house. Can you guys hear me? I see the video working, but can you guys hear me is the question. Can you hear me? Uh, I hope that this area is cool. I couldn't figure out where to film, but I thought let's just let's just stay in this room because Mac really loves this room and if I did it downstairs, he wouldn't come downstairs. And I know you guys want to see him. So, hello everyone. What's going on? Nerdy Noob here, and we're back at it with a live stream. I'm really, really excited. Thank you guys for joining me. It was kind of a, again, a last minute live stream. I feel like that's how all of my live streams are. They're very last minute because at like currently I cannot plan for anything. I have been working so much and just like I get these random phone calls that we got to figure something else out or figure something out for work. And I just don't want to like commit to things and then just not be able to do it. Um, anyways. Hi everyone. Hello. Let's, let's just see who's in here. Hi Stuart. Hi Dom. You guys are in here. Hi Michael. Did you get your bed? Nope. <clears throat> Michael still my, my nifty arrow bed. I inflated it a little bit last night cause I felt like it was a little bit low. Uh, Mac is in the background. He's creeping. I don't know where you went. Mac! Mac! Mac, come here! There he is. Can you see him? Wait, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, there he is. I don't know if you... No, come here. Can you... Come up here, bud. Come here. Come on. Come on. The people want to see you. No. Negative. Negative. Okay, well, he's right here. Uh, <clears throat> Hi, Laura. Did you enjoy the party? I don't know what party you're, you're referring to. I did have T came over last night. Dana came over with Maddie. So it was like a small party, I guess. Um, and we filmed some videos. Not all three of us together, but I filmed some videos with T. I'm trying to upload one right now. It's taking forever. And then I filmed a video with Dana. So there you go. Did you move houses? I, I am in my new house. I've been in my new house since July 4th. That was my very first day in the new house. And I just got the carpets professionally cleaned. They did an okay job. And I got a Groupon, so what I don't know what I expected. And now I'm excited because now I get to fully start trying to move things in. So my goal today is actually to go to Target and get some bookshelves and go upstairs put them together and then get my Funko Pop shelf started. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm like really stoked to have a place to put all of my Funko Pops. Uh, nail update, they're almost all gone. I am currently at two nails per finger. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I don't get my nails done very often, usually when I go to weddings. That's like the only time I usually get my, my nails done. And my favorite part about getting my nails done is getting to rip the nails off once I'm done with them. Like. So a couple of these only lasted like, I think by Monday I had ripped off three of them already. You know, you know. So this video specifically, not sure if it's internet. It might be my internet, guys. I apologize. I feel like my internet's not as fast as it kind of should be because my, my upload for my, I did a, a video with T, we unboxed our, my lootware from June and July and then I got my risky business from May and it's taking like five hours to upload. So <clears throat> that could be my internet. I apologize. Does the floor still smell like dog? Alyssa, yes, a little bit. If you put your face to the carpet and you smell it, it smells of dog heavily still, even though they did a deep clean in that room. So I think at this point, I'm not really planning on like laying on the carpet very often, I guess. And so the room itself doesn't smell like dog. So I think what I'll do is go to Target and get some of the carpet powder and then I'll vacuum it just to see if that helps a little bit. And then if it does, then I'll move my bed into that room and then I'll be actually like in my my master bedroom. There's Mac, he's just chillaxing right there on the floor. Mac has been an update for you guys who know, uh, I moved Mac in last Sunday and it's been going well actually. It took him a couple of days to like 
feel it out. He cried a lot and it was just like, he always had to be near me. And I felt bad because obviously I was going to work. And so he's here. I'd leave a light on for him. And then on Friday, I had to get the carpets clean. And I don't know if I told the story on the vlog that I filmed, but I had to get my carpets clean. So what I did was I put him in the upstairs bathroom because it was like the biggest bathroom that had a window that I could put his litter box, his food. And like, I put a, a cat bed and a blanket. And so like, I put all the stuff in there and then I put him in there and I feel really bad. Right. And I, I put him in there and I'm like, I'm so sorry, Mac. And I, I close the door and I go downstairs. I'm in the kitchen and I'm like in the kitchen. And all of a sudden Mac walks down the stairs and I'm like, what, what, what just happened? So I pick him up and I carry him back into the bathroom. I go upstairs, put him in the bathroom, close the door. And I stand outside the door and I hear him jump up on the sink on the counter. And I just hear him hitting the doorknob. So <clears throat> he didn't get out again. So he obviously failed, but Mac, apparently is a little bit smart enough to sometimes potentially open the door on his own. Mac does not like getting locked in rooms ever. Like when I was at my old house, I couldn't close my bedroom door because if he was outside of the room and I closed it, he would just cry and scratch at the door. And if he was in the room and I closed it, then he would walk up to the door and cry and scratch the door. It's like he can't be confined to a space. He doesn't like that. So but he's doing well. He was a little bit mad because T wanted to bring Charlie yesterday. So, um, and you'll see Charlie in some of our videos, but Charlie is a little dog and uh, Charlie could care less about Mac. Charlie had like, was just like, what else? But Mac was like, like kind of like, who are you? And uh, wouldn't go downstairs. So he was a little bit upset, but whatever. Uh, anyways, let's see. <clears throat> Oh, visual RIP, or is it visual rip? Thank you. You guys don't have to donate money in the chat, but I appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. Um, let's, I'm sorry. People are like asking me questions. Do you still have PO box for a presence? I still have my old PO box. I need to get a new PO box. Um, there's like five cities around here. So I'm trying to figure out which one I want to get my PO box, um, at. And so I'll have like two PO boxes for a little bit because I already renewed my, my other one for a year, but that's probably for the better because that way it gives me some time to transition my boxes out. But I haven't figured out which, which post office there's like, um, there's not one, a, not a good option where I'm living. So I'm going to try to find one around here that I like. So I got to just look around, but if you guys still have my old cash to value one, you can feel free to say anything. I'm so behind. I haven't done a PO box presence unboxing in forever. So just know that if you send me something. But I, uh, I'm going to start moving my stuff from my old house into the new house soon. And I do have like a stockpile of P.O. Box presents. So we might have to do just like a mega P.O. Box presents unboxing. Okay, let's see. When are you going to move all your pops in? Ryan, I'm going to move them in slowly. So I have some from my parents' house. I got to start moving them upstairs. And then I got to start. I think I'm going to get a moving truck to get the ones from my old house. I think. I'm not quite sure. Uh, let's see, uh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Michael, yes, I still get Lutaku. I actually have two boxes that I need to unbox. There, you know what's happened? What happened is I got a new one and it's downstairs, but I know that I still have one in my parents' house, so I need to go home and get that one first because I, I like to box my box. I like to unbox my boxes in order. I don't like to go out of order. I have this thing. I don't know why. Uh, so I need to do that, but I should have two Lutaku boxes coming up soon. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know how to say, I never know how to say your name. Is it Sohalia? Sohalia? Sohala? Sohala? Uh, I have not seen the new Fantastic Beast trailer, but I saw that it came out, so I need to watch that. Um, are you considering, are you considering filming a 4K? Not, no. If you guys notice, my videos are really like, I know everyone out there is like, they're doing big things with their editing and everything. Like, honestly, I wish I could be one of those people, but I just don't have the time and I don't have the energy. I like just being simple, like filming and then doing really quick edits just where I'm like, uh, uh, and like cutting that stuff out and then just posting videos, you know, uh, entertainment examiner. Do you still get collector's case? I don't know, actually. Honestly, ever since this move happened and just everything that's been going on with work, I have no idea what I'm getting with anything. I need to like get back on track and understand what I'm doing, but I have no idea. Did you get the, how do you say that guy's name? The, the, is it Taika Watiti? I'll talk about that in a second, but can you tell by my face if I got it? <sighs> 
Uh, I know I'm really excited. The Turtle Temple for all the new Nickelodeon pops coming up. I did see those. Um, did you, Ryan? Yes, I did pre-order the Sanderson sisters from Spirit Halloween. I'm very excited about those. And oh, everyone's saying that you like my simple videos. Good, because I'm not really trying to do anything. Even my, you guys know my my vlogs, my awesome vlogs with the background YouTube music and like cheesy, uh, cheesy things. Like that's just that's just how I do. Emily Smiley, do you still get the WWE Slim Crate? So I officially canceled that box, but I have like three of them at my parents' house and one downstairs. So I might do a mega WWE Slim Crate. You know what? One of the reasons why I didn't unbox that box is that was one of the boxes I was in my car in my accident and it got like destroyed, but I still have the box. And so I just need to like unbox all of those and get them out of the way. The Lost Boy. Um, I did see that they were going to have some new, or try the new Doctor Who. I did hear that they were going to have the first female Doctor. Um, maybe I should try watching that. I don't even know where I would watch that. Probably like BBC. I think we have a BBC thing. Um, okay, what else? What else? What else? Did I see the Rex Fortnite pop? Yes. I only watch, I watch Fortnite videos. I don't play Fortnite yet, hopefully soon. But I did see that Rex Fortnite pop, and I think it looks really, really cool. Be careful about Nick Box spoilers, stupid Comic Con. I haven't seen any Nick Box spoilers. Do they already ship out the Nick Box? I don't even know where that is. I gotta check to see. Uh, check your Amazon Marvel. Yes, my well, my Marvel Collector Core box is supposed to be shipped on Saturday, I believe. This coming up Saturday is what they sent. They sent me an email saying that. Um, let's see. Did you see the new Teenage Mutant cartoon trailers? And I did not see that. I'm gonna have to. Okay, Zach. Thank you. So I want to make a comment, and uh, I haven't been able to get a hold of of Ryan, but um, I was supposed to be on that mega stream, Zach. I'm going to throw this out there because I feel like a terrible person. Um, Ryan reached out to me a, a little bit whenever he first started planning it and asked me if I wanted to be on. I said, yeah, of course. And um I don't know what happened. Honestly, I just completely forgot the date. I'm not used to doing anything on Wednesdays, and I completely forgot the date. And I, we had a work emergency. So I was like, when I got home, I got home at like 9.30 or 10 that night. We had an emergency at work. And when I got home, I saw the mega stream. I was like, OMG, I screwed up up so I totally messed that up I reached out to Ryan and I apologized and um I feel like an awful awful person so uh if you guys want to see that mega stream it's on Jetta Patrol's channel you should definitely check it out but yeah I totally like uh I totally totally mess that up. I feel awful and I should know better than to commit to this is why I told you guys I don't commit to anything right now because I just my schedule is so crazy and I just can't I just can't even keep up with barely anything that's going on in my life and so um yeah anyways I feel really really awful about that and I can imagine that he will never want to invite me to a mega stream again which is totally understandable but hopefully one day Hopefully one day soon I will make it to one and yeah. Um, yeah, I know I thought about putting a shelf of pops right here, but you wouldn't be able to see anything. It's so far away. We'll see. Hi, Mikio. Good morning. Um, who won the Instagram giveaway? And I haven't done it yet. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. It's it's just, ugh. But I will connect with Nia and see when we can do that. We were trying to do it together because he wanted to do it on live stream, but I might just have to just knock it out so we can get it out of the way because it's like, I'm like eight years late with that, basically. Um, so yeah, so there's that, and then uh, there's let's see, in the house, that's good. Uh, boxes, I have no, again, I have no idea like what I'm subscribed to anymore. So we'll just see. Do you regret the phone call the other day? So yesterday, I was trying to get the Crunchberry Pop on the Funko Shop. So first of all, let's just let me get this out of the way. I've been working a lot and I didn't even realize that the Funko Shop con exclusive releases were happening. So I missed like all of them the first two days or however many days they did them. I don't even know. Um, I'm really sad I missed the mystery box. It came out like in the middle of the day Friday or something. I'm really sad I missed that. If I was going to get anything, I definitely would have wanted to get that, but I missed that. That's okay. Um, yesterday I was trying to get the Crunchberry. I had it in my cart 
And then, yeah, I got a call because um, we, we had an, another small emergency at work. And uh, and then by the time I looked back on it, it was sold out in my cart. And so, I mean, it happens. And I'm disappointed because I really wanted it. But I – and I'll talk about a little bit about, like, my mindset with Funko Pops right now. Um, Pop Sideshow, thank you so much. Ugh. You have, um, if anybody wants to go to Pop Sideshow, they're doing uh, the Target exclusive, the Target Red exclusive Dilophosaurus. It ends today, so you guys should definitely check it out. Um, but yeah, so today, you guys, like, okay, yesterday, I was like, I'm going to try to get this Funko Shop release because I haven't gotten the chance to get any of them. So I had my alarms, I did everything, and then, yeah, uh, got the work call, so I was disappointed. So then today, I was like, no, because this was, they had the, um, what, how do you say his name? Is it? Taika Watiti, uh, whatever his name is, I absolutely love him. He's the dude who plays Korg, and he's the director of Thor Ragnarok, which is one of my favorite Marvel movies. Like, that movie, so me and T watched it again yesterday. It's so funny. Like, such a great movie. So I really wanted that pop. And they had, I don't know if they had a glitch this morning, but, like, at, 10, at, at 7.30, I refreshed the page. And it still showed yesterday's releases, which if you click on that link, it takes you to the Funko, like the actual Funko shop, not the pop-up shop. So I kept doing it. And then it was like 1031, which is usually pretty late for them. So like, that's weird. So then I tried to go to the Funko shop to see if maybe they were releasing on there for some reason. Then when I looked back, they had put the Funko, the new Funko pop-up shop um, release. So I clicked on that and he showed up and then there was nothing. It was just him, right? Just a picture of him. So when I clicked on him, it took me to the page. And when I did add to cart, it said, you've already exceeded your quant like the limit quantity for your cart. I was like, oh, I have it. I have it. So I thought maybe he was in my cart. So I checked my cart. He wasn't there. So I went back. And I did that like 20 times. And it just didn't work. And then all of a sudden it said show sold out. And I was like, great. So I was kind of sad about that. But here's the thing, guys. And before I'll talk about this before we get into the whole like exclusives for the con, the shared exclusives. I love Funko Pops. But I've noticed recently that they're getting smart and they're releasing limited qualities, which quantities, which honestly, good for um, good for them. Like it's a way to really keep it like not crazy, you know, like or the keep the demand up, I should say, because before when they would just release everything, if you if you over release things, then you you know you inflate the market, and then no one wants it, then you just have a lot of extras or whatever, and you get a lot of clearance pops. So they've been smarter lately, where they have limited quantities. And that's cool, except for it sucks. Like, obviously, when you want something, it's harder to get now. I have never experienced, like, when Hot Topic used to release their exclusives, they rarely sold out online or in stores. Like, that wasn't really a normal thing. Like, I knew when Hot Topic, I was excited when Hot Topic would have any kind of exclusive because it'd be like, I'll be able to get that easy. Like, I can go to the store, I can get it online. And lately, everything has just been, like, selling out online. And so... It's like stressful and I found myself being really stressed out and not even sometimes I don't even understand what Funko Pops I really want compared to what Fun Funko Pops I'm getting because I'm not sure if I want it and I'm not sure if they're going to sell out and then I'm not going to be able to get it. And so like there's all of these just mindsets going on. So like even with these Funko Shop releases, like I love the Wednesday Funko Shop releases because I love to try to get them and everything. And like I didn't get any of the ones from this weekend, which is fine. Like it's totally fine. And that's what I'm trying to learn is like to remember that there's always going to be those disappointing moments where you just don't get everything. And there's going to be sometimes that you get it and there's going to be sometimes that you don't get it. And if I really, really want it, then I'll throw, I'll throw the money down. Of course, if I really want something like I'll go on eBay and buy it if I really want it. But it does help me decipher like what I'm just buying to buy and what I'm buying because I want. And so especially now that I have a house, I have to, you know, be careful about what I'm spending. So I'm just trying to be more aware of like me and my stress level about Funko Pops because I love Funko Pops, but it's not the end of the world. Like if I really don't get something, then, you know, and the other thing to remember, especially with a lot of the shared exclusives with Hot Topic and Target, you know, this demand and the rush when they first come out is crazy and they sell out. It's really hard to find. But if you wait a while, and this is the one thing I had to learn from you guys, because before I'd get really antsy and I'd go on eBay and I'd just pay like way too much money for something that isn't worth that much money. Um, if you wait a while, once the once the, the 
it like dies down. Once the original release dies down, usually you can get Funko Pops on Target for, you know, they're upcharged, but not that much more. So it's, it's like doable to me. You know, it's like you can get them for like 10 to 15 to 20 dollars. And so anyways, I, um, yeah, I'm just trying not to be stressed out about Funko Pops. What a terrible thing to stress out about. But it can definitely be stressful, especially as a collector. And then I just keep telling myself, like, let's be honest, Steph. Like, this is the internal mindset. Like, let's be honest, Steph. You're never going to, like, be a Funko Pop collector where you're getting every single Funko Pop in the world, right? Like, that's not the type of collector I am. So I think I have to get out of that mindset, too. It's like, you're not going to get everything, and that's just how it is, and it's okay. Like, you know, so I'm trying to just go back to that mentality, like, collect what I really want because that's, you know. That's what it is. Um, and this is like collecting anything. It's not just Funko Pops. It's really anything where there's a high demand and there's a limited quantity. Um, it's stressful collecting. Like I did the same thing with my dad, Beanie Bear hunting. It was, it was sad sometimes because it was disappointing when we would wait in line at five in the morning and not get something. And then all of a sudden, you know, we get it and it's like the most exciting thing in the world. So, um, Yes, Pop Sideshow. I still haven't been able to get a hold of Fire Jack Jack as well, the Target exclusive Jack Jack. I did get one pentacle. I kind of am shooting myself in the foot that I didn't get one more when I was at Hot Topic because, you know, now I treat that one like gold because I thought Hot Topic was going to release more online and then they didn't, which sucks. But, you know. Uh, but again, Funko is smart right now. Like, they have been putting number quantities on their boxes and that. You guys know that that, that will make things sell out so fast when they do that. So, you know. Anyways, um, <laughs> if you <laughs> if you sold all the pops you have that you don't like, you'd be able to afford probably any pop out there. That's true. The Lost Boy, that is true. Uh, it is true story. I wish I was good at selling things because I'm not yet. But I'm still hoping to do that because I have my website and I got to move all my stuff back from my old house. And I think that, you know, especially because now that I have a house, like, I don't want to hoard as much stuff and I want to be able to like, you know, help supplement this channel because the channel, as you guys know, I haven't been, um, I haven't been posting as consistently. So it's just things have gone a little bit down, but that's okay. Like it's just a hobby for me. And I, if I can start selling boxes to help support this channel, um, and, and still support the boxes that I'm buying and some of the Funko Pop mystery boxes that I get, like that would be cool. Are you on eBay? I'm not on eBay yet. See, like, and the thing about it is, like, you guys know, I know, like, I'm not a fan of flippers either, and I don't want to be a flipper, but I want to be able to, like, you know, put my stuff up for you guys to buy, which is why I made the website that I have. Like, I want to put boxes together, either mystery pop boxes or whatever, for you guys. But then there might be some things that I sell on eBay, and I, not that I'm going to say, like, oh, I'm going to sell this pop for 100 Like, oh, here's this flock selling myself for $100, but just put it on there and then let people bid on it, and then whatever happens, happens. Like... I'm not necessarily trying to make, like, I'm not trying to be a flipper, but there are some things, I do have some pretty cool pops, like, in my collection that um, that I wouldn't mind putting up on eBay. There's some that I want to keep, obviously, and there's some that, like, I wouldn't mind doing. Um, anyways, what are we talking about now? Let's talk about uh, the Comic-Con exclusives. So, the shared exclusives, I, uh, I was trying to do a little bit of research. I didn't talk about any of this on my, on any of my social medias, but basically you guys know I follow like Funko Pop, Funko Finders and, and Dis Funko on, um, on Instagram. And a lot of them were posting like the pictures that showed you all the different shared exclusives. So let me tell you guys what I was able to get. So you guys don't have to wait for me to do unboxing videos once I receive them, because you guys know how long that takes. Um, I was actually really excited if I'm being 100% honest that when they released all of the shared exclusives I was excited because um, there wasn't as many that I wanted right so like I was looking at all the ones that I wanted and I was like this is doable like this isn't extreme I there's been years where like there's like 30 that I want I'm like oh my god I'm never gonna be able to get that so I'm gonna tell you guys how this worked I really wanted the first thing that went up online, which I didn't even know because it went up at like nine or something. I thought everything was going to get released at midnight was the freaking FYE Skeeter Pop. I really want that pop. I still need to try to figure out how to get my hands on it. But that was the first one that I tried to get. By the time I logged on and like went to the link, it was already sold out. So I was really sad about that. But I'm hoping that pops up eventually. So 
Um, that was my first fail that night. Whatever, what was that Thursday night? Yeah, so Thursday night, that was my first disappointing fail. I heard through all the sites that Hot Topic and Box Lunch were gonna open at midnight. So I set my alarms. I think they ended up actually turning them on a little bit earlier. So like they went live a little bit early. Um, stores have plenty of skiers. See, that's awesome. I haven't actually gone shopping. I need to go to the mall today because I have hella hot cash that is about to expire today. And I have an FYE in my mall. So I'm going to go to probably a little bit later today. I'll go to the mall and hopefully I can get um, Skeeter because that that would complete. Skeeter is the only one right now currently other than the Funko Shop releases that I didn't get, right? So I, I did really well online, you guys. I actually was pretty proud of myself. So I didn't get Skeeter. Now the Amazon exclusives, I never saw the Imperial Stormtrooper go up on sale, but I didn't get that one. And I don't know when these released because I feel like they released not on Thursday. Like, I got them a while ago. But I did get my hands on Edna Jack-Jack when it released. And I did get my hand hands on Odin's Force Thor, which I almost lost because my I, my credit card changed. And so my payment didn't work. And luckily, they sent me an email that said, can you update your payment? So I updated it, and then they shipped it out. So I was able to get the Edna Jack-Jack and the Odin's Force Thor on Amazon, which is exciting because you guys know that Amazon exclusive sometimes can be a little bit tricky to get sometimes sometimes um uh what are we doing what are we doing i don't know so i'm trying to like read your guys's comments and and like talk was it wednesday that they went on sale it might have been wednesday whatever night they went on sale and i was so honestly like my mind wasn't in a good place because i missed the mega stream and then like i i just was like all over the place anyways let's keep going so then i want to say the next thing that went on sale was hot topic and and box lunch. Um, there was nothing from Target that I really wanted. They had the Asuka, which actually was cool, but I'm not a huge fan of her. Um, and then I do like the Captain Caveman from Walgreens. I don't even know what that's from, but I like the way it looked, but I don't ever, honestly, I don't usually mess with Walmart and Walgreens, uh, unless there's something I really, really want. I did have a chance to get the Killer Moth from, is that from Teen Titans from Walmart, but I didn't pick that up because like, I don't really want that. Um, so let's see. So when Hot Topic and Bo Box Lunch, they went live from Hot Topic. The only thing I really wanted, which I've missed one. So hopefully at the store, maybe they have it. I don't think they're going to. Um, I really wanted Moni Myrtle. That was like the one thing that I was like, I need to get Moni Myrtle. That's the one that I want. So when that went on, I first bought Moni Myrtle. I just bought her and then checked out because I didn't want anything to happen. I didn't want them to sell out. Then I went back on afterwards and I was like, I didn't even know, like at the time, honestly, I didn't even like look at any of them. I think I ended up getting um, 8-Bit Ralph and 8-Bit 8 8-Bit 8 Felix because I love 8-Bit Pops. I haven't actually, I really can't wait to see Wreck-It Ralph 2. So I'm really excited about that. I love the trailer. I want to say honestly, and I don't even know what this is from. I also think I got Gus only because he looks so much fun. And he's flocked. And I love flock pops. What is Gus even from? I have no idea, but he looked fun. The one that I didn't get that I wish I would have gotten. I know a lot of people talked about Ron Swanson. I didn't want him. I wanted um, Hero. Is it Valerie? I never still, I still don't know how to say Val Valkyrie. Valkyrie? How do you say her name? Now I'm questioning myself. I think it's Valkyrie um, from Thor Ragnarok. So I didn't get that one. I don't know if that one's still in the... Okay, so uh, Gus is from Saga. Um, but yeah, I didn't get Hero Valkyrie. So that's the one I'll probably have to try to search. It's not like the end of the world, but I do really like uh, Thor. So I just, you know, I've been slowly collecting those sets. So from Box Lunch, there was only one thing that I really, really wanted, and that was the neon tomatoa, tomatoa, the crab. So I just got the, the, actually, is he a lobster? He's a lobster. He's a lobster, huh? Is he a crab or is he a lobster? No, wait, he's a crab. He's a crab, but his head kind of looks like a lobster if we're being 100% honest, huh? Because like, those look more like lobster claws. Is he a lobster? Wait, is he a crab? What is he? I don't know. Anyways, I got the neon version from Box Lunch. That was the one pop that I really wanted from Box Lunch. The only other one that I thought that I might want, and then I went back and I was like, nah, I don't really know if I want it, is the Fading Flash, because I sort of like Flash, um, but I didn't end up picking him up. He's a crab? Crab. Okay, so he's a crab, but his head, honestly, like if we're, again, if we're being 100% honest, crab heads don't really look like this. This is totally a lobster head because crab heads are like part of their body. Like a crab 
It's a crabster. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take crabster. Oh, is it a hermit? It's not a hermit crab. That's not a hermit crab. He's got lobster claws, guys. Like those are. I eat. I eat a lot of lobster. That is what a lobster claw looks like. That is not a crab claw. Um. <laughs> anyways, uh. <laughs> finally, pop sideshow. Finally, watch Thor Ragnarok. Now I want a Valkyrie cord. Korg. I. Do they have a cork pop? Because if they do, I would be game. A 10-inch cork pop? Could you guys imagine? Uh, amazing. Anyways, okay. Are you going to Pixar Day to get Jack-Jack? No, I was going to, but the tickets were so expensive that I was like, I might as well just go on eBay and buy. So I did, I almost did that last time. Like I almost went to the game, but instead, because the tickets are like really expensive. So I'm just going to buy one on eBay and hopefully it's not super expensive. We'll see. Franken crab. <gasps> Jess, what up, cousin? What up? I know I need to come back to Boston. No, you need to come here. Come visit me. I have a bedroom for you. You guys can hang out. Bring Chris. We can have. I don't have as fast as internet as he has, but I'm. It's still cool. You guys should come. Um. Ah, I miss you guys though, for reals. Let's see. There is a Korg apparently, not a ten inch. I need to find out where I can get the Korg. Korg is my favorite character from Thor Ragnarok. Like, so I, I can sit there and watch the Korg, like, video. Like, they have some videos on YouTube where it's just the Korg scenes, and I love them. Like, when he's talking to Thor about his hammer, my favorite scene. I love that scene. And when he talks about the pamphlets, like, I, ugh, he's so amazing. I love him. Anyways, okay, sorry. I'm, like, getting sidetracked. So, for a box lunch, I just ended up getting the, the Neon Tamatoa. So then, Barnes & Noble finally went live, and the only one I wanted... Um, from Barnes and Noble was nearly headless Nick. I almost got Pepe Le Pew, but I was like, I don't really want that. So I just got nearly head here the, 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 nearly headless Nick, and it's the glow in the dark version. I also think I purchased at some point, I don't know from who, the regular version because I didn't get the regular version when they came out either. So that was that. Let's see. Um, I didn't try for any of the Toy Tokyos because eh. I do want the Playboy Penguin from Entertainment Earth just because it's like the saddest looking penguin ever, and I like that. I don't know why I just said that. Like, I like sad penguins. I don't like sad penguins, but I like penguins. I don't know what that's from. What is the Playboy penguin from? Um, but maybe I should go and try to get that, I guess. I don't know. Um, and then, let's see. I don't shop at the BBC shop or Funimation or Bait or Blizzard, and then yeah, out of the Funko Shop releases, the main one that I wanted, so I tried to get Crunchberry Beast yesterday, and then the Taika, Taiki, take Taika, Taika, that's his name, Taika, is it Taika? Taika Watiti, that's the one that I wanted the most. Um, I remember when they first released this, I was like, oh, I want him. So I might eventually throw down money, like more money to get him. I am so excited. Who wrote that? Lame Sauce 85, the Ultra Megazord from Target. I'm so excited to get that. But I'm I'm just struggling right now with the Target exclusives. Unless I get them when they release online, I have not been successful at the stores at all. It's been bad. So um, okay, let me tell you the story though. So then after all of those went live, the one that I wanted from GameStop, guys. So there's one pop that I wanted from GameStop, and it was the Iron Man Mark I. It was the only one that I really, really wanted. I looked at some of the other ones, like the Dustin Snowball. That, like there were some that I that was like, mm, but I was like, no, just the just the Iron Man Mark I. That website. Did anyone buy on GameStop that night? Because that website was awful. Like awful. It was awful. I finally they released them live, and I added it to my cart. And it literally took me, I think I worked for like an hour to just every time I clicked on something, it was like error. So I'd go back and, be, and I'd click on it and then I'd get to the next screen and then I would fill it out and then I'd, I'd press submit and then it was like error. I got so many error messages. I was so frustrated because that was the, the last website of the night. So I'd gotten everything else. Um, I'd already gotten my disappointment from not getting Skeeters. I got over that and I'm sitting there for GameStop and I was just, I went on my computer too because I was like, what's happening? And I couldn't get the Mark One, and I wasn't sure if they sold out. But I had gone on there right when it went live, almost. And so I was like, "What? It's still showing? Why is it?" And then it was like weird. And I had so many errors. And then I was worried that I was going to charge my card like thirty times um, because I also had to put in. That was the other part is that like my new card wasn't saved, and so I had to save it. And then that didn't work. And then I tried to use the PayPal, and then that wasn't working. It was just so many errors that night. It was so terrible. 
And finally, I got through, I want to say it was on my computer, I think I, or my phone, I can't remember. I got through and I was able to get the Mark I. And it said, like, confirmed, you ordered it. But then, like, 30 minutes later, I was like, how do I know? Because I, like, I left that screen, I didn't screenshot it. And so I went on my account and it wasn't there. And then I checked my email and it wasn't there. I, you know, I had gotten, I had gotten emails from every other store, like confirmation, confirmation and not GameStop. Yeah. I was getting the gateway error 404. That's all I kept getting Zach. Me too. Me too. And so I was like, did I not order? And then I, I, I didn't see anything on my credit card. All of my other, all of the other purchases from the other stores already showed up on my credit card. Right. So like everything happened so fast and I was like, what the heck? So then I was on Instagram and I guess GameStop then released later on in the night, they released like you could buy an entire, all of their exclusives. Like they bundled them all together. And I was like, uh, did I get the Mark one? And I couldn't figure out if I got the Mark one. And so I ended up getting the bundle. So I got the bundle. I don't know why that was a really bad choice on my part. My bad. It was my bad, but I bought the bundle because I wanted to make sure I got the Mark one. I really wanted it. And, uh, and then I still didn't get a confirmation email and it wasn't in my account. And then the next morning I woke up and both of them were in my account. So I was able to get the Mark one. And then I also got GameStop's bundle of, I don't even know. Honestly, I have no idea even what comes in the, in the bundle. Hopefully everything, because it was kind of, ex it wasn't like overly expensive, but it wasn't cheap. It was like, I think it was like 90 or hundred. I don't, I don't remember. Um, I don't even remember. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, they already shipped something though. Oh, they shipped my um my Mark One. So I paid. Uh, it was ninety dollars for the bundle, and I had to pay eight dollars tax, but they gave me free shipping. And uh, yeah, that was not my best moments in life, guys. But what are you gonna do about it? Like sometimes it happens, and I. And that's all I. That's all I can say about that. I don't really know. So now I have. Now I have the bundle. <laughs> Uh, terrible. So all in all, it was actually a fairly successful um, weekend for me, minus the Funko pop-up shop and then hopefully the Skeeter. Maybe I can get that today. So I'll be really excited about that. Um, yeah. So yeah, I think I got what I wanted, which is nice. The Last Jedi Wave 2, I haven't picked him up, but I want that pork. The pork from The Last Jedi, the sad pork. That is my favorite scene from The Last Jedi. I'm so excited to get that pork. I know it's sad that he looks sad, and I'm hoping that Hot Topic has him, because then I can use my hot cash. Hot cash! Nia's here! What up? Shoot me nation! Yes! Mm. Um, they already shipped. <laughs> They shipped, I think they shipped everything. I don't really know, you guys. Anyways, what do you think of the Tina Pop? The Tina Pop. Tina from Bob's Burgers? What? I don't even know where that was. Um, is that what we're talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. Tina. Tina. Um, oh, I want. I did see the Chrome 3-pack flash, but... Um, I didn't get it. I, I didn't get anything from the Funko shop. I completely failed this year at the Funko shop. I need to be better on my game next time. Uh, okay, so that was the con exclusive. I'm really excited again to, um, I don't know, to receive those, and I'm glad that I was able to get them. Do you like sad animals? Apparently, because I like sad penguins too. I don't know. Maybe that's a thing with me, that I like sad animals. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure, you guys. Um, <laughs> I hope that you, I know, I need to get Porg back. I, I, I don't think my dad brought Porg. He brought all the other things, but he didn't bring Porg. I'm excited for the Target Pikachu Pop, the 10-inch and the regular. Uh, I'm, again, I'm sad that it's going to Target, although I heard that the regular Pikachu Pop, I heard it's going to be like a million pieces, so that shouldn't be a problem to get, but the 10-inch is probably going to be way harder to get. <sighs> um, it happens. What are you going to do? Yeah, the Funko shop failed everybody this morning. I don't know if I would have had a chance. I don't know if I clicked on it quick enough to have a chance to have gotten it if it wasn't all glitchy, but the fact that it was glitchy just made it even worse. Are you planning on saving for NYCC? Luckily, the, I feel like the San Diego Comic-Con pops, like the releases for those are a lot bigger and a lot more. The other cons are smaller, and usually there's only a few that I want, but yeah, I always am. No, I'm saving now for my mortgage payment. 
uh, can I just tell you guys, my dad was like, oh, you got your coupon in the mail. And I'm like, what coupon? And he's like, your coupon for the mortgage payment. I was like, why do they call it a coupon? So apparently when you pay your mortgage, it's called a coupon. Why would they call it that? A coupon? A coupon means like something that you're getting like cheap. Like why would they, why are they going to charge me that much money and they call it a coupon? Who thought of that? That's a terrible thing. But my first mortgage payment's coming up soon, uh, probably in a week or so. And I'm nervous and uh, I'm just nervous about it. I haven't been able to get my hands on the 10 inch Dobby Pop from Target or the Basilisk, which sucks too. There's a 10 inch Demogorgon probably at Target as well. I know. Why are all the 10 inch, um, why are all the 10 inch pops coming to Target? Like, I guess it's cool because you can see inventory online, but then it's not cool because everyone can see inventory online, so then you're just fighting with the same people, which is, like, cool, but, you know. Anyways, uh, um, my property tax, Mia, it already, they already added it um, to my monthly mortgage payment, which sucks. But here's the thing, actually, um, you know, I've told you guys this, that my parents are helping me out and that was something that they wanted to help out so they could, uh, also have, cause they're a uh, co co people on this house. So I think they're going to help me out with the, um, with the, with the tax payment because they can use it as right off. I guess. I don't really know. Anyways. Oh, Target bought all of the Funko tennis pops. Is that true story, Ryan? I have never heard of that, but if it is, that makes sense. I did. I, <laughs> You guys know I was able to get my hands on a 10-inch T-Rex pop, and then I was able to get one online. The box is downstairs. I'm very excited to do an unboxing video for it. Try mortgage payment plus car payment plus new roof payment. Hopefully, I don't have to pay for a new roof soon because this is a new house, but I definitely have all the other house bills I need to figure out. I need to check the mail. I hate checking the mail. Yeah, burden. It should be the, the mortgage burden, not the mortgage coupon. Maybe I can use my hot cash coupon towards my mortgage payment and get half off. That was a joke, guys. That was a joke. That's not a true story. It's just joking. Um, I just got, for those of you who were asking me, um, Shumi did put their mysterious boxes because they hadn't been going up. Usually Shumi releases their mysterious boxes, and Shumi, you can you can um you can correct me if I'm wrong. Usually they release on on Sundays, but this week I think there was some on Wednesdays. And Nia, I'm gonna apologize to you as well because I, I you weren't here earlier, but I am so sorry that I missed the mega stream. I completely lost track of the date and didn't realize that it was that date and then work happened and I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I like feel like a terrible person, you guys. But uh, afterwards, I saw that they released their mysterious boxes, so I went online and, and purchased a bunch. And yeah, I got to talk to you because I still have my my thing, but uh, your pop protectors are sold out online. So my little chicken dinner thing, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that, but we can figure it out. Did you grab a box of fun? I don't know what that is. That the Funko box? Because I didn't. I didn't grab a box of fun. You never know. <laughs> Slide in some hot. Could you imagine if I put some hot cash with my coupon? My mortgage payment coupon. I don't even know how it works. Can I not pay my mortgage online? I just like, I just, hey, look, somebody has the same name as me. I should click on your channel and see what you're all about. Oh, it won't let me. Nerdy noob, I'm doing great. How are you? Um, <laughs> anyways. What are we all, what else should we talk about? You know what, actually, I was gonna do a video. Nia, would you be offended? I have a bunch of packages from Shumi and they were from a lot of the, um, when we did the pick a chase game. Um, if you guys don't know, Shumi does live streams and Instagram live. I don't know where they've been doing it, but um, they do this game called pick a chase where it's like a live thing and then they put them on, on for sale on their website. So you pick a number and then, oh, uh, like live they they open each box and then if you pick that number then you get the chase and if you didn't pick that number then you just get the comment and I, I've been playing that game um, well whenever I can get on when they're doing it I play it oh he said it's fine okay wait I, I'm gonna go downstairs because I think I had one more box downstairs that I want to say is from pick a chase hopefully but I have three boxes here that we can open for you guys and I can show you guys so um, hold on one second okay hold on Oh, sorry, Max, sorry. Ah, I 
tell you, don't run with knives, guys. Don't don't ever do that. Um, so I have a few boxes from Shumi. This one's really old, and I want to say this was from the first time that I played Pick a Chase, but it's quite big. So now I'm not quite sure. I'm questioning myself. Not quite sure, not quite sure. Mac, yeah, where's Mac? Oh, there he is. Just his head. Just head. Mac, come here. Come here, bud. Mac, come on. Come here. He's very skeptical, which makes sense. Hey, bud. Come here. Come up here. Where are you going? Come here. I don't know. He doesn't want to join the show. Um, okay, so let's open this one first and see. Let's see. So Shumi says, all Mysterious Boxes have been off schedule, but we will start going back to every Sunday. There's a box live right now. We might skip tonight due to SDCC. So is the box that's live right now the one from Wednesday, or is it a different one? So, cause, so they used to sell 300, but I think they dropped it down to 200, which means that you have like a better chance of winning. Yeah, Mac is totally like, I'm too old for this. He really is saying that, Lame Sauce. Like, I'm too old for the silliness. Like, go away. <laughs> Um, so the ones that are on sale right now at Shumi are from Wednesday and I picked up, I picked up more than I probably should have picked up, but, and thank you guys to anybody who's using my link to purchase anything. You guys, um, it's awesome. And it gives me like a 20% off coupon, which I can use towards my purchases as well. So thank you for that. I appreciate it. Mac doesn't want to hug. Mac just... I guess his ears are burning. He he knew. <laughs> that was really funny. Gaming with a capital G. You get a shout out. Shout out to you, Gaming with a capital G. Shout out to you. Okay, so this box is from, um, let's see, it shipped in June 8th, 2018. It's quite old. Um, it's quite old. I know. Mac literally was like, he was like this. He went like this right when I said his name. <laughs> okay, this is really old. And again, I think it's from the first time I played Pick a Chase. Is it? Yes. And they put, um, there was two the night that I played. It was for the Violet and the Pork Chop, which I still haven't been able to get my hands on the Pork Chop Chase. I'm still trying, still trying. So, and this was before they had pop protectors. So I don't think any of these will be in pop protectors, but here is our Pork Chop regular pork chop. I have been very unlucky in the pick a chase game, guys. I never win, ever, but it's still fun. I always pick number four, and then the one time I didn't play, guess what number it was? It was number four, because that's how it works. The day that you don't play, it always is number four. And then um, here's our violet pop. So I love the pick a chase game, especially when it's a pop that I really, really want. Sometimes I play just for fun anyways, but for like Violet and Pork Chop, I was like, oh, I like those pops. And these came in excellent condition. Thank you, Shumi, for packaging them very nicely with the bubble wrap. They they wrap each of them in their little bubble wrap. Um, oh yeah, 214 people, what, what? Thanks guys, thank you, welcome everybody for being here, appreciate it. Ryan Arch Aki. Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Did I say it right? Huh? 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 Um, Mercari. I don't know what Mercari is. That a store? Guardians of the Funkos. Is that a store? Or um, we still need to like meet in person where I'm not like weird. Just throwing it out there. Hi, Anthony. What up? Mercari is great. Okay. Well, everyone's saying Mercari, so I got to check that out. Don't know what it is. Um, <laughs> Anthony, I've been doing well. I've been doing really, really well. Makari's at Craigslist. Oh, okay. I'm not a big Craigslist person, but maybe I'll check it out. Um, Phoenix Holgan was the one who won the pork chop chase. No, don't be sorry. Congratulations. That is awesome. Stuart, tell Finn I said hello. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, this box, whoa, this box came in July 5th. Again, I think it was another... Pick. I think all of these are pick, pick your chase, pick a chase, I think. I don't really remember. Um, I, don't, I have no idea what this is, guys. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, 
we have a Beverly Marsh, and it came in a pop protector, which is awesome. I absolutely love that Shumi is putting their pops in pop protectors now. It makes it so much easier, also for me, because I don't then have to put my pops in a pop protector. But they also come in mint condition, which is great too. So that is awesome. And then sometimes they actually sell non-mint condition pops. So you guys should be on the lookout for that because they um, they put those up on their sale every so often as well. Chase Roulette, is that what it's called? Chase Roulette, sorry. I don't know why I keep calling it Pick a Chase. I'm not quite sure, but it's Chase Roulette. Um. Um, Reese's Pieces. I don't know. I got one. I got one Hello Kitty box in, but I want to say it was a while ago, and I haven't unboxed it. It's at my parents' house still. I need to unbox it. Um, I I don't. Again, I'm not good at keeping up with all of my boxes, especially not right now. So I need to get on that. Uh, why is somebody laughing so hard? The Lost Boys. What did the Lost Boy say? What did you say? What did you say that is making people laugh so hard? I can't see. I can't see. Um, we're gonna open this one. Ah, ah. Oh, me, Anthony, just came on and said, got anything this SDCC? So you missed the conversation. Just go back and um, and check it out and listen to the live stream before, before the, the bowl, like five minutes ago. Um, Yes, yes, let's go Funko Pop hunting. That would be awesome. Oh, this one is not a Chase Roulette Pop, but you guys saw, so I actually got this pop from my Mysterious Box unboxing, but um, I had actually pre-ordered it or ordered it on the website, so now I have two of them. But we got the Dig'em Frog. This is the Honey Smacks Kellogg's Ad Icons. Um, I still stand by my comment that this is the worst cereal ever. It's not the worst cereal. It's not the worst one ever, but it's terrible. Like, Honey Smacks is not good. And did you guys hear a lot of people just got sick from Honey Smacks? How ironic. But we got the Honey Smacks Dig'em Frog. That's a cool pop there. I love his big spoon that he's holding. Like, I think that's probably my favorite. Oh, actually, I like his face. I like his, like, cartoon frog face. I'm a fan of that. Um, hi, Lodi. What are we doing? What are we doing? Macari is better than eBay without all the bidding. Is better than eBay without all the bidding. Oh, maybe I'll have to try it. Um, did you hear anything, Nerdy Noob, on remaining two Funko collab boxes? So I just unboxed with T, and I'll post that either today or tomorrow, our Smuggler's Bounty Box, or my Smuggler's Bounty Box. That was the last one. It, I thought it was supposed to go through September, the Smuggler's Bounty Box specifically. That was the one that, that was the only box that was continuously still going through Funko. But then they made a, um, a release that said that this was gonna be the last one. So I haven't heard, I bet you it will release soon though on what retail store is gonna get the Smuggler's Bounty Box. I have not heard anything about the DC Legion of Collectors box, right? Cause that's, you have Marvel Collector Core on Amazon and then you have Disney Treasures at Hot Topic. I think that between the Le the Legion of Collectors and the Smuggler's Bounty, I think I I actually think the Smuggler's Bounty is going to end up at Fye. Um, and then I hope one of them is probably going to end up at Target, but I hope not because I again I don't really like shopping for Funko Pops at Target. It's just too hard. It's very difficult. It's very difficult. Um, and I just don't think Target's going to want to stock that like that. So I could see and Box Lunch isn't a big enough store. Um, maybe like a Walmart. Ah, uh, no, I don't see, I see, I don't see, I don't see any of the Funko collab boxes being in a store that's like big, like a big box store like Target or Walmart, because I just can't see them wanting to stock that, but I could see, you know, like Hot Topic, I definitely see it, so I would say FYE, and then <sighs> GameStop, 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 Legion of Collectors is going to end up at GameStop. I say GameStop or, or Box Lunch, but I don't think Box Lunch is available to enough people to put it there. GameStop is everywhere. I don't really know. I'm just guessing, guys. I have no idea. Anyways, um, yeah. Walmart gets a lot of Star Wars exclusives. See, and I could see it, but then, like, could you guys imagine if they ship, because for those boxes, I don't think they're putting limits on them. I think they're just, like, shipping. Uh, they're just going to have a ton, right? Because, like, Am the Marvel Collector Core hasn't sold out or anything. It's just, like, it's just there. So I just don't, I don't see stores unless it's online only. See, that's the thing though. The good thing about places like Target and Walmart is that they can, um, and I never made a video about this. 
and I probably want, still should, but I'm not probably probably not going to. But my theory about this is, and I wanted to share this with you, is like, I think they're trying to put it as stores that can ship. And so you guys know before when Funko did it, the Marvel Collector Core was the only box that shipped internationally. So now Amazon has it, and Amazon can ship internationally. I don't have a problem with that. And if you go to big box stores, like even with even with Hot Topic, because they sh they ship internationally, it's probably really expensive, but they ship internationally. And if you put it at Target or Walmart or stores like that, they probably have a lot more capability of shipping those boxes anywhere in the world than um, than Funko did for the price point that they have. So um, yes. I don't know. That's my theory about it is that they want to put it in stores that can take care of the shipping aspect of it because I think that's probably what they struggle with the most. Subboxes aren't really subboxes if they're in stores though, technically, I guess. True story. Although the Marvel Collector Core is actually a sub through Amazon, it's actually a subscription because you guys know that you can actually subscribe to things on Amazon where they ship you things monthly or however it works. Um, Amazon is a sub. Which GameStop pops did you get? Entertainment Examiner, you missed it, but I definitely got the Mark One, and I think I ended up with the bundle on accident. Yeah. Um, okay, what are we doing? I have one more shimmy box. Let's go ahead and just open this up, um, and then that way we can take care of that. Shumi, thank you so much for always sending your uh, pops in really nice boxes. I actually have been trying to save these boxes, not these ones specifically, but I have some at my parents' house that I've been saving so that when I ship out pops, I can reuse the boxes because these are really nice heavy-duty boxes. So we have another, see, you call it, oh, I see. It's called Pick a Chase, but then she's really, oh, I try to go for another pork chop one. You guys can tell that I've been really trying to get the pork chop chase. Uh, so there's another pork chop. But this one has a pop projector, so that's cool. That's Cleo, but no, no chase. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, GameStop would be a good, I think, because GameStop ships internationally too, I believe. So GameStop would be a good location for one of the uh, for one of the Funko collab boxes for sure. Can you do the patch and pins on you guys? I was so excited when we unboxed the Smugglers Bounty Box. I'm not gonna do any spoilers, but um, for the last hurrah, it was great. So you just have to wait. Stuart, you're gonna have to wait until that video comes out so that you can potentially, maybe, potentially hear that song. Uh, did you? Yes, show me. I have. It's not that I've been sitting on them for a long time. I have so many boxes, you guys. Like I lined up all the boxes that I have just in the new house, and I was like, uh oh, I better start. I, you guys know, I haven't been posting consistently. This is the other reason why I try to post every day is because if I don't, the boxes pile up. Like with the amount of subscription boxes that I have, I have to post a video at least once a day, or else it piles up, and that's one of the other reasons. So, I have a bajillion boxes downstairs. Um, GameStop would be good for DC. I think GameStop would be good for DC, and I actually think Star Wars would be good at FYE. And I'm only saying that because I have an FYE close to me. If I didn't, then maybe I wouldn't be saying that. You need to do a patch and pin ringtone. Could you imagine? Patch and pin, patch and pin, patch and patch and patch and pin, patch and... That's all you get. That's all you get. Um, Pop Rocks. You know, I wish that I was, again, good at shipping things because then I would trade with people more often, but I'm so bad at shipping things, I don't trust myself. I don't trust myself to, like, commit to trading anything because I feel like I would suck at shipping things. Ugh. Did you get tracking? I just received my Smuggler's Bounty yesterday, or I don't know when I got it, but I picked it up from my P.O. Box yesterday, and I unboxed it last night. So, I don't know. I don't keep up with any of my... um. I don't keep up with any of my shipping emails. Like I just, they just show up and I'm like, oh cool, I got it. I hadn't been to my PO box in like a week and a half and I went yesterday and I, they were like, ah. I was like, sorry. And then they gave me the big tub to bring out to my car. So I did that. Um, <laughs> ship stuff in the boxes you get for shipping. It's true, like these boxes are, are, are like super high quality. Where do you get these from? Most people buy boxes from Uline, but I don't think I don't think Shumi gets their boxes from Uline. Are these Uline boxes, Shumi? I don't think so. These are like fancier than than Uline. They're thicker. Um, so like pork chop chase on Amazon for twenty dollars. See, like I don't think the pork chop chase is that like crazy. I'm sure I can find it somewhere, and it's not that expensive. So I'll just have to. Do it. But I need to try Mercari. What do you guys call it? Mercari, Mercari, Mercari. <laughs> Um, oh, they buy their boxes from a local box maker. Well, tell your local box maker that they are legit because their boxes are super thick. Uh, Guardians of the Funkos, what is your favorite line to collect? 
Hmm. I mean, the only line that I fully like committed to collecting, like where I tried to get everything was not everything, but like, I don't know, probably Harry Potter and Star Wars, are, like the two lines that but no, Nickelodeon, like now that Nickelodeon has pops. And honestly, I love a lot of the new Marvel pops. And then I just like, I've been trying not to get my mindset into collecting a full set. Because sometimes I don't want the full set. I just get the full set because my mind tells me like, you should collect the full set because you're a collector. Like, that's what I'm telling you is the stress about collecting Funko Pops. Like lately, I've been trying to just get pops that I really like. And, or like, if I like, like I liked Infinity War. So it's like, okay, maybe I'll get the entire line of Infinity War pops. Or I'll try for it. You know, uh, anyways, I don't really know. Are you excited for the Rugrats movie and TV reboot? I am, except for like, I'll be honest and say like, I love Rugrats. I absolutely love Rugrats growing up. And then they did the All Grown Up series and I thought it was cool. And I just feel like they might've kept it around a little bit too long, a little bit longer than they should have. And then it wasn't like as cool, but it was still cool. I don't know, we'll see. Sometimes with remakes, you just never know right? Sometimes they're good. Sometimes they're not good. You know what show I've been starting to watch? I actually watch it with my dad when he comes to visit. We just, because the cable line's not working downstairs. So I just have to stream Netflix through my Chromecast. And we've been watching Lost in Space, which he used to watch like the, I guess the old series and I've never seen it. So like, of course, the whole time we're watching, he's like, oh, the doctor, the doctor, it's a bad guy. It's a doctor, the guy, the bad, the guy, the bad guy, the guy who's a doctor. And he kept saying that. And then, and then, you know, as we watched, it was like, Oh, so they switched it up a little bit on him, but we've been watching that show and it's actually pretty intriguing. I, I weirdly do. I try to tell myself I don't like sci-fi things, but I actually do weirdly connect well with sci-fi. I just, I just try not to because I don't have the time to sit and watch and binge watch like a bunch of shows. Me and T did watch a couple episodes of um, uh, Winona Earp or whatever it's called. Winona, I don't know what it's called, but I've actually seen that show and I think I've watched. A majority of the first season, I want to say. So yeah, do you miss Toys R Us? I do miss Toys R Us. I do, I do. Um, oh my gosh, you guys want to see something funny? So you guys know if you've been following me for a long time at work, every summer we have this thing called a Derby Day, where it's like uh, all the sites create duct tape boats. It's boats made out of cardboard and duct tape, and then we race them in the pool. And so this is the first year that I wasn't connected to a site, like a community center specifically, because um, I'm usually hands-on, like, okay, how are we making these boats? We're going to win the race. Um, but I actually ran the event this year, and um, and what was I saying? Oh, and one of my old sites, they made this boat. Let's see. Hold on. Let me show you the boat. So here's the boat. It was a Toys R Us boat. Isn't that funny? It was like an RIP Toys R Us boat. So they had the sad Jeffrey head and then it says Toys R Us. You can't see the S because it's purple, but um, so yeah, that's what they made. That was cool. Let me show you some other, I was going to post a, post this on Instagram, but I forgot. Um, one of the groups made this pretty cool Black Panther boat. So it was Black Panther and they made the spears and then they had kids walk in, you know, when they were, when they were walking in, they like all walked in together and it has the infinity gauntlet on the front. I don't know if you can see that yellow thing. That's the infinity gauntlet. So that was a cool boat. It didn't um, race very well, but it was cool. This one was cool too. Um, let's see. This was an incredible boat. That one actually won its heat. I don't know. I don't remember if that was the overall winner, but that was a cool, a cool one. And then. Um, one of the groups made this, let's see, how do I flip this around? Let me turn it really quick. Let's turn it. Done. Um, they made this cool like Teen Titans boat and it, on the other side it had like the mask logo or like it looks like an Infinity logo as mask, but it was super colorful and that was cool. Um, Oh, how about, let me show you this one because you guys would love this one. Somebody made, they made a, a narwhal, a narwhal boat. That was cool. That was a really good one as well. Um, what other good ones were there? One group made this, uh, this duck boat. Ah, you can't see it. There's a duck head right there with his bill and he had little duck feet and duck tail. Um, so that was cool. And yeah, so it was a fun event this year. Um, it was sad not being able to be part of the boat building process because I've done that every year since I've been uh, working at my job. And uh, but it was still cool. So, 
Yeah, it was cool. Uh, okay, so that was fun. And uh, yeah, that's it. What else do we have? Is that all we have? It's been an hour. I want to, um, I don't know if we're gonna end it, but I do wanna just say thank you for everyone who joined me today. I know it was a last minute live stream, but I love hanging out with you guys. And um, I just, I'm just excited for, for everything. I'm just excited for everything and I'm excited to try to like change my mindset with certain things and not be as stressed out about certain things and just kind of like be able to live my life. So I'm excited to go to the mall today and use some of my hot cash. And if I don't use all of my hot cash, I'll post it on my Instagram so that you guys can use it online. I'm not, I don't want to go in there and like buy things I don't need, but if there's anything that I see that I really want that I can get half off, then I'll, I'll go for that. Um, I have a bunch of boxes I need to unbox. They're all downstairs. Um, so I'm going to get on that and I have a bunch of cool videos that I'm really excited for you guys to see because it's with like, I have, um, three videos with T, one video with Dana. So that was really, really cool. And, uh, Kawaii Anime Freak, there's your shout out, y'all. Did you get that video shout out? Um, and yeah, I'm going to take you guys along as I start building the shelves upstairs. I don't know if I'm, so you guys know I've been doing weekly, here, let me get your opinion on something. So I've been doing weekly vlogs about my house. Is Mac there? Where is Mac? Where'd he go? I don't know. Um, I've been doing weekly vlogs with my house stuff but when i start doing like building my room of funko pops upstairs should i make that a separate video and then just like hoard the footage and then do one big video about like creating my funko pop room or do you guys would you guys rather see like bits each week as i go along with it in my vlog i would say both but i feel like i feel like i'm not that cool to do both so would you rather see just like one video later on that has like like bits each time I do it or would you rather see me like doing it weekly in the vlog? I feel like weekly in the vlog would be easier for me because then I can actually like sh vlog while I'm up there and not, because if I hoarded all the footage then I would try to not go up there with my vlog and then no one would see anything. Um, okay, I'm doing it, you guys already said. I'm doing, uh, I'm doing, bits each week but then i will do like a full video i want to do a full collection video once i'm done i'm like so excited to do a funko pop collection video i've been trying i don't you guys always ask me how many pops do you have and i'm like i have no idea so i'm gonna finally have all of my funko pops in one room for the most part i have a lot of funko pops at work actually those are my out of box funko pops but in one room i'm excited to have all of them i can show you all of them and be like you know, be one of those cool people that was like, here's my Funko Pop collection. We should play Guess How Many Funko Pops I Have. It's hard because I always am getting new Funko Pops, but how many of you guys think I have? Like, rough ballpark. Because I was trying to think, like, when I was at my parents' house, somebody had asked me, and I was like, I don't know. But when I counted the Funko Pops that were just from, like, the couple months that I had been collecting that were just on my um, head, the headboard at my parents' house, that was, I think, like, a hundred and... I think it was, like at least a hundred pops. I don't actually remember. It wasn't a hundred pops. Was it a hundred pops? It was like 80 or 90 or a hundred pops. So people are saying 444, that's a great number. Uh, 750, at least a thousand. I don't think I have a thousand. 600, 999, 200, 680. At least 800, if not 1,000. Over, I definitely don't have 9,000. See, if, it depends on what we're counting. If we're counting all the pops that I've received that I also don't really plan on keeping, then I probably do have a lot. If we're just talking about the ones, I guess there's two two numbers then because there's the number of like the ones that I keep for my legitimate collection and then there's the one that I have with like my legitimate collection and all the ones that I have that um, I kind of put my giveaways and whatnot. I don't know, but I have a lot of just Harry Potter and Star Wars pops just alone. So then you know. Anyways, how many have, how many you are actually keeping for yourself? Yeah, so how many I have and how many I'm actually keeping, two different numbers, but if I'm talking about all the pops that I have, including the ones I'm not planning keeping, uh, I don't even know. I think, I think I can legitimately say that I have, I wouldn't be, I, a thousand is really high. That also would mean that I have spent like $10,000 on pops. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to know. I kind of don't want to know. Although it would be really cool to like track it and see how you guys know, you know, like those things that you guys always tell me to do to see how much my collection's worth. I could imagine combined that I have over a thousand. I think I do have over a thousand. If you count the pops that I'm not planning on keeping, luckily I, I, I give away pops all the time to all of my friends. Like that's a thing. Like I have like 
pops that I keep in my car where it's like, hey, you want a pork pop? Um, but yeah, I don't know. We'll have to see. I guess keep just keep those numbers in mind and we'll see as we get along. And I'll do a um, the first thing. I'm, I'm, that's like the main thing I'm trying to move into the house is all of my collectibles because that's probably the thing that's taking up the most space in my old house. And then, you know, and then we'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Stashpedia, I think, is the one that I have right now. Pop Price Guy doesn't have an app. Do they have an app yet? Because I didn't like how you had to go like on their website, and it was really difficult. People are saying 1K easy for all in total. Okay, we'll see how well you guys know my collection, because I actually don't know it very well. But I actually could see, I could see a thousand easily as well, easily. All right, guys, I think I'm going to end it here. I want to give a big shout out to all of you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this live stream. I love hanging out with you guys, and I can't wait to do more live streams, um, especially when I get my, like, actual space set up. And uh, you guys are, have been amazing. Thank you for asking all the questions that you asked. Thank you for um, still watching and commenting on all of my videos. I love reading all of your comments, and it's been a blast. Um, and, yeah, I can't wait to start building the shelves. I'm going to Target today so that I can build – some shelves and start getting some Funko Pops on there. So I'm really excited for that. And I, I hope that you guys will watch my vlogs to see. I have a really good vlog coming up, I think, because you'll see tea in the vlog and everything. So that should be posted tomorrow. And there should be a, a video posted shortly today with tea. Um, oh, yeah, it finished uploading. So I just got to put everything together and then upload it. So I'll upload that right after this video. I hope you guys have an amazing Sunday and an amazing rest of your weekend. Um, it might be Sunday night for those of you in the UK. But I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for continuously supporting my channel and me and everything. And Mac loves you guys too. Mac! Mac? Mac, where are you? Mac! Oh, here he is. Can you see him? Oh, come here. Come here. Ugh. Ugh. See, if you stayed, you get to see Mac up close and personal. He's, um, yeah, he just looks angry. But he's not angry. He's, like, cuddly. If you guys watch my vlog that I post tomorrow, you'll see um, Mac finally got to meet my goddaughter, Maddie. She has only seen him on FaceTime. And so um, she got to meet him in person. And they liked each other, I would say. Oh, Mac doesn't like when I hold him like this. He doesn't actually like belly rubs ever. But sometimes I try to get him in this position so I can give him a belly rub. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. Ow, ow. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, guys. Ow! 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 Ow, Mac. Ow! Ow! He got me. Ow! He got me. He got me good in my legs. Ow! 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 All right, guys. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you guys next time. See you guys later. Bye!